Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. God damn. What it been like four days? It's the fastest y'all ever got the next video. But we will be working on the Evo today. Uh I will be taking off the valve cover, going to wrinkle black that, taking off that scrub bar, wrinkling no nah, probably gonna paint that white. And we will be installing a radio y'all know i'm jamaican bro i need my wham I need my tune them I need some music in there so i'm waiting on the dash kit the wiring harness i got four brand new speakers coming we're gonna slap those in there and uh yeah give y'all some evo content probably go for a test drive and see how everything works out all right so i will be taking off the valve cover the materials I will be using today, you can pick up from any local local uh, automotive store. Some aircraft, paint remover, and BHT wrinkle. I will be doing it black. I'm going to try and uh, and maintain, well, nah. I'm gonna skip all this and then I'm gonna probably try and do this red. The My Back Turbo words. I am still waiting on my package from Amazon. I will be doing doing the seats. I got some uh some seat brackets from STM to actually lower lower the seats about an inch and a half and a shifter extender because that's too short for me. I'm just gonna raise it up. So I'm gonna time lapse the valve cover and uh let's get to it. Tools needed will be a 10. Take off these breeder things. Yours probably don't have one. If you have one, yeah, you know what I mean. I'll take off the cover, take off the four packs, and take off the back cover. Take, yeah. All right, we're looking at side the motor. Yeah, she's clean. Uh, I believe it's uh, S2 cams, Beehive valve springs and uh, and uh, retainers, AEM cam gears. Uh, yeah, man, really, really clean, really clean. All right, let's keep it going. Make sure you're in a well ventilated area. Do not let this shit touch your hands or nothing like that. Don't let it touch your walls. Stay away from the cars with it. Because this is paint remover. This shit is very strong. Shake it up a little bit. Pop that cap and simply just coat it. Don't worry about covering nothing up. All right, so the bar cover is pretty much still soaking. They had some thick cast paint on there. We got Mario here. He's doing a radio install on this truck. I got I got the scrub bar all sanded, prepped, alcoholed, wiped down, clean up in grease. We're gonna hit it with some uh, some white. All right, so the scrub bar is on, painted, all good. About to go in the patio and a uh, rink of the valve cover. So that aircraft remover, I don't know if I got a bad can or I picked up the wrong one, but it sucked. So I pretty much had to like sand it down the best I can. But VHC paint, it goes on pretty thick. So I think I'll be okay.
All right, so I'm on the second coat right now. You only really need two. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys live by yourself or if you do, you can slap it in the oven and bake it. And then and uh, that's how you get the wrinkle effect. Or you can do it outside like me and use a heat gun and slowly just do like a circular motion all around. Don't try and sit at one spot too long. Just take your time and just, just you feel me, go all around the valve cover and then uh, you will see the wrinkle effect start, start to form. So wait for this to dry, give it about 30 minutes and then hit it with the heat gun. And then like you'll slowly see the, uh, the wrinkles. All right, so the vault cover is back on. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these words yet. I may get a piece of two by four, some sandpaper, sand it down, get that aluminum look back, or I might just paint them white to match the, uh, match to match the skirt bar but moving on i got the f i got the front seat out i got this kit from uh from stm too it's supposed to lower the seat an inch an inch and a half so by looking at it you basically just take off these brackets and uh put those on and that's it so I'm gonna get to it. All right, so this is the OEM one. And this one I had to break off. It was like spot welded right there, seam welded. So, so that's how it sits. So basically like an inch and a half. So I just took it like a pliers and bend it back and forth and it broke off. And same with the other side, it sits about that much. And uh, these are the new ones. And then I gotta do the back. How that shit feel, but that shit nice and low, man. Slam, man. That is slam, yeah. <laughs> so, so the brackets are in. The seat is definitely noticeable lower. Yeah, but I'm in the back seat with it. Yeah, that bitch sitting like me. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell from the passenger seat, which I haven't done yet, and driver's seat. Yeah, it's a lot lower. Especially for big guys like me, you man. Need that bit low. Well, excuse the noise, guys. Uh, they build in the house right across the street from me. But finally received the dash kit from Metro. The uh, same kit I used in my TSX. I don't know that fan is bothering y'all. Same kit I used in the TSX from Metro. And here is the a Toto, a Tutu, A6. I made previous videos about this radio. I have I have the S8 version in my in my TSX. I had the S8 in the black in the black M1 that I have, and now I'm putting it in my Evo. I, I love this radio. It's fairly priced and comes with a bunch of features. I mean, like GPS, wireless CarPlay wireless android play full touch screen this that and the third uh i didn't get all of the options like i did with the tsx tsx got a front front camera a backup camera uh yeah uh stereo control i mean steering wheel control has all of that you can check that video out if you're interested in the S in the S8, but this is the A6. Uh, let's get this unbox. So you have your microphone, your brackets, your uh, USB connection. Not sure which one which one this is. Okay, this is your phone link. Uh, this is your GPS harness. This is for video. More USB connections. Another one of these RCA connectors. Uh, rear camera, parking brake, stuff like that. Now these 
Now these are Android based, uh, these are Android based units. So like you can watch YouTube, you can download apps, you can do all of that stuff on uh, on these type of units right here. And look how small it is, bruh. Jeez. Look how small that John is. Nice. So I'm gonna get this all, all uh, unboxed. I have the wine harness here. This stuff, this stuff was come yesterday. But I have the harness here, and this is the dash kit. So what, so what I'm going to be doing is, uh, I'm going to be moving my climate control from where it's at to the bottom, and get rid of them stock gauges that don't that don't work. So the climate control is going to go there, and and doing that will allow me to use a whole double dip. So I'm gonna jump inside the car and start taking it apart. Yeah, man, that white really, really give it off. I wanna get the white, white brace bar that go in the front. You gotta get rid of these wheels, man. You gotta get rid of these wheels. Uh, seat is lower. I'm getting this shit a lot more easier now. So with the instructions we have here, Da, 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 da. All right, so this is how my shit currently look. You know, I got a radio here. Then I got the climate control here. So all of this is gonna go down here. This is getting taken out, and then and then this is being moved here, which leaves you space for the double din. According to the instructions, da, 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 says to remove the lower lower panel and then drop drop the. Uh, Drop the glove box. Uh, so I guess this is held in by clips. That's held in by clips. Then so we should be two screws underneath here somewhere. Uh, then a bunch of screws for the bracket. That's behind the behind the radio. I may have to put like a little notch. It says uh cut cut a notch in a sub dash and a plastic i don't know i'll see if i can avoid that since that radio is so small uh, da, da, da. all right so first and first oops that's not what to be in there. uh drop the glove box i'm not gonna be able to do this with two hands i'll be back so I just noticed this is already an aftermarket radio. So somebody already been behind here and did most of the work for me. I just need to remove this. Oh, and with the climate control, like the knobs. So, like, like the knobs, it just pop off. Pop. And then you got two screws. You got two screws right here like that at the bottom it just pop off and then uh that's held in by clip okay so the problem i'm having now is that you have to you have to remove these uh you have to remove these cables these cables are for the climate control and uh, this one is being a real bitch so I'm trying to be gentle, but I don't want to break it. And you see somebody already chewed, somebody already chewed that up because this this little metal bracket is supposed to sit in there to hold it. So I'm probably gonna have to like zip tie that some way. So just keep in mind, you got these brackets because you have to take this whole unit out, put it, put it down there. All right, so we got it in. They, you did have to notch, not just a certain section. I'm not sure if you guys can see in the video, but I had to cut right there and cut right there. Uh, I did have to take off, take off this bracket behind the dash and kind of push these, push these out for it, for it to clear that one little leg right there. But else from that, I got back on the cables. I rerouted them underneath. 
and I got it plugged back in. So all you gotta do now is put back on your knobs. Um, what plug? Put back on your knobs. I think that might be the wrong one. Okay, that's a small one, so it should be this one. Put back on your knobs. Catch your two screws on the hair. Down there got clips, and you just reroute your AC unit. It looks a lot better than being up here. Yeah. All right, so I put the brackets on that comes with the radio then i put on the brackets that came with the the dash kit i lined it up did a couple of couple of adjustments and this is how she's going to sit so right inside there and then once you put once you put on the clips from the old from the old one just take off these clips, slap it on the new one. It's gonna sit just like that. Yeah, yeah, much better, much better. So now I'm going to do the radio harness and get everything wired up. Already got most of underneath the dash taken apart so I could run, run my microphone. I'm gonna run it alongside the bottom up under here you probably have it you know what i do be lean back bro i'll be like right here bro i'll be driving yeah so i probably i don't know i'll see where i put the microphone but i want to keep it as neat as possible and i ain't even gonna hold you bro this is a lot more like like easier than I thought. Like I thought like Evos would be hard like to work on or I thought it was gonna be challenging, but dude, it's like the EK bro. Same screws on the dash, the motor is very very simplified. So uh I'm really digging this car yo. I'm really liking liking the simplicity of it and what it's capable of. But let me go wire this up. Alright so this is my workstation where I do all of my drone stuff and my solder. I got my gaming PC down there. All of my soldering stuff, all of my drone stuff. So I got everything, everything heat screen and I'm gonna connect these wires and uh, solder them up. All right, so all of my wires are soldered up. Uh, I left some of the wires out that I'm not going to need, especially the ground, because the ground is not on the harness, it's on the chassis. So, And then I have to ground uh, the camera wire so it plays all the time. So I already got the heat shrink there. Going to just push everything up, leave what I need to be left out, and tape it all up, and we're done. But there we go. We all powered up. Huh? I know you ain't vlogging, man. Yeah, I'm vlogging, man. Whoa! But look at my shit, my shit. Oh, you can't even see. <laughs> I can't even How see. did you get to be able to see the, the front? I don't know, bet. I be guessing where I be aiming at. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, you already done? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty much done. Oh, that's straight. I just got to put on the clips. Got the AC. Got the AC controls oh, down there. But oh, yeah, bet. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That'd be a rebuilt title, my fault, dog. That's crazy. But yeah, a Toto, a Tutu, you know, it has... A Toto, bitch. You know, it has Bluetooth, has wireless CarPlay, it has a uh, Wi-Fi, GPS. You can download apps from the App Store. I'll link the, the previous video to the TSX where I went more in depth on everything. But I got three of these radios so far, and all of them work. I love them.
it ain't worth his time. So I'm like, dude, I give you the hit. Nah, it ain't worth my time. My shit's slow. I'm like, bruh. So let's put a wager on it. Let's put some money.